Aloha, honey. I love you. <laughs> Having a nice lunch with Debbie. I look forward to seeing you in a few days. Here we are, Miu Miu Guam. Boys are working on the walls, sanding down. Finish is nice, smooth. See the uh, wallpaper well through it. There's a difference over here between where they're starting and where they're going. Team of them in here. We've got about another week in here. Um, carpet is in very good condition, and uh, we're going to keep it that way. We're going to run our low voltage uh, stuff. I'll just take you up to the wall so you can see the Finish on the uh, Damask wallpaper. All right, so here we are in beautiful Guam. This is the hotel I'm staying at. Pretty cool. Uh, Guam uh, Resort and Spa, I think it's called. Doesn't seem to be a lot of people here. There should be. It's only $156 a night, and that's a deal in mind. The room's pretty reasonable. So I'm uh, in Guam and uh, heading down to Shirley's to get some breakfast uh, on the way to go to different agencies to. Uh, I'm going to renew my contract as license down here, but I always used to stay at uh, this place here, and, uh, Santa Fe, and I always liked it, still do, it doesn't seem to be really open, or well, only partially open now. I'm just going to walk down to the shore and show you why I liked it so much. I guess there's still some people staying here roughly, but it's um, in disrepair, as you can tell. Getting a lot of the black mold and that. I don't know if I can get out to where the beach is where I want to show you. We'll see how we go. So I were able to get around the back. Um, it's obviously not going to be renovated anytime soon, if ever. Uh, had a lot of good time too, the bar inside the doors there. Ate a lot of great dinners out here. And swim in some fantastic water out here. Used to swim across to that island over there. Bit of a rip in the middle, but it's okay. And this is Tamun in Guam. And further over that direction is where all the jet skis are. So right next door to the Santa Fe Hotel is uh, Shirley's, which is where I'm going for breakfast now. It's, uh... So there's Santa Fe over there, right next door is uh, Shirley's, where I'm going to have some breakfast this morning. It's going to be about, I don't know, 2010 I think they built this. It's always a good thing. Let's see if it is now. So some of the tuck on here doesn't look too bad. We've got over this side. Okay, that could do worse. So look at some breakfast, looking on the breakfast menu, eggs and something, interesting things you see on here. Uh, a lot of things that I would not be familiar with. Right, so coffee's here, let's see how we go there. So Shirley's is a pretty big place, as you can see, very expansive, a lot of tables, and feeds a lot of people. A, I've shown you part of the menu, but the menu's way, way bigger. Well, I would say that was very successful. Made corned beef hash eggs, some toast. The toast here is somehow different from white bread. More airy, I don't know. Oh, uh, no, where's the car? Oh, there's the car, the black one right there. So here's what we're doing today. We've got to go to 12 different agencies, like this page here. We're going to fill this page up with 12 different stamps by the end of the day. Hopefully lunchtime, we'll see how it goes. First stop, the ITC building, Bank of Wild. One down.
one I hit, and I think we can get four stamps. There's this one right up here at the GCIC building. I think we get five stamps out of there. It's totally like that on a park outside the GCIC building, right there. So, do you see a smile on my face? That's because four more. Just a quick message for Bill Moser here when I'm in Guam. I never miss an opportunity to talk about Moser's joint in Guam. I think Bill knows something about this, but he hasn't told me yet. Raft is there with um, pretty heavy purlins, a very short span, so to carry weight pretty, get pretty well. Hope this helps you, Travis. Helps me. It's a fair way up, um, probably I don't know, 16 feet up there. Pretty much the same structure all through though. I can't see the exact size, but it looks like, hmm, looks like a three by two or something, maybe a four by two between those girders, and it's probably spanning about six feet. My doggy barks at me all the time, I tell you. <laughs> Thanks, Laurent. That, that worked out too well, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's better than what I had around with, with uh, what's his name around the corner. Oh yeah. He was... Um, Gerald? Yeah, he went off right off the rails in the end of the day. Oh, there's, oh, there's Tony by the way, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we met her. The twinkle in your eye years ago. That's your other one. <laughs> yeah, I got four daughters and one son. Man. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you've been busy, buddy. My youngest is eight. So what's up here? Oh, there's a partner. So, just came out on a random floor, the floor I'm staying on. Happened to have to walk a bit further out and noticed um, the view out here. And wow, it's uh, quite awesome. That's the Hilton, just there. Got four more for the tax office, yay! So it's always with a little uh, apprehension when I come to get this license in Guam every year because something usually screws up and I did a bit this time but it was my own fault so what the heck. Uh, but I've got one more stamp to get and then we should be good. Oh, last stamp. And this is with this lot. Into this place, contractor's license for Guam. Get a license baby. So at the end of the day, here we are, finally, license. That's what we're called. The old Pacific Star, remember it well. We uh, put all the doors on all the rooms back in 1999. So the wind was blowing like crazy, so here's the short story. The two lovers, their parents wouldn't let them get married, so they tied their hair together and jumped off the cliff over there. Lover's Sleep, how it got its name. So, just got time to get to the park, down the beach. Here we go. Ooh <laughs> So this is the end of this week's vlog. <laughs> I flew in from uh, Honolulu to Guam uh, last night at uh, 7 p.m. And uh, I've been here today, got the contractor's license and uh, going to fly back to Honolulu tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And uh, it's all been good. Had a nice trip here. The weather's been great. Got to swim in. 
Hole's good. Aloha.